Climbing into frigid water in a small holding tank with not just one, but three slippery, powerful, colossal Jurassic-era fish isn't a typical day for students at Vancouver Island University. It was moving day for three Pacific white sturgeon. Aquaculture technicians and students were transporting the fish from their old holding tank in a greenhouse that has been their home since the 80s into their new tank inside the recently completed International Centre for Sturgeon Studies at the Nanaimo campus. Most sturgeon that people see are on TV after being reeled in, uh, so they're exhausted. These fish are will be fully awake and so very strong, so we have to be very careful. Okay, she's got space now. The process to move their prized broodstock, Tyra, a 200-pound, seven-foot-long fish, and her two tank mates, Angie and Dottie, was a carefully planned, delicate operation to minimize stressing them out. We'll put these fish into a stretcher and use anesthetic to calm them down. And once they are docile enough, we will move them uh, by hand and as gently and quickly as possible um, and deposit them in their new tank. It's essentially a cartilaginous skeleton, so we need to be very careful in how we handle them. You can't grab these fish by the tail. One, they don't like it very much, and two, you can actually separate their vertebrae because they're, they're somewhat delicate in that way. Getting up close and personal with these very large fish is a pretty special occasion for the students and technicians. They're a phenomenal piece of evolution. Uh, they've been around, the, the body form has been around for a very long time. And they're a local species that's of great concern, so it's, it's good that we're doing some work with them. They're amazing creatures. They're living dinosaurs. Um, they've remained unchanged for about 200 million years. I just think they're beautiful creatures. I'm fascinated with them. They're, uh, uh, there's so many char characteristics of, that other fish don't have. Um, I guess you got to know them to love them, but uh, they're great. They outlived dinosaurs, yet in less than one sturgeon's lifetime, about 150 years, humans have brought this prehistoric fish to the brink of extinction. Huge efforts are being made to conserve these valuable fish and at the same time develop the sturgeon aquaculture industry. Overfishing has been a big problem. Um, this species takes a long time to become sexually mature. Habitat degradation, uh, these fish are very fussy for spawning. If every condition isn't exactly right, they will reabsorb their eggs instead of spawning. So there's very little recruitment in certain areas going back into the population. White sturgeon are an endangered species. There is no place to do proper research on sturgeon. This place was built so that we could also, we could help the industry uh, as well as help wild populations. With some careful wrangling, all three white Pacific sturgeon are now safely in their new digs, along with a few smaller members of the species in the new International Center for Sturgeon Studies. In Nanaimo, I'm Annette Lucas.